In this video, we are going to look at how to create a 2D muscle flash for a 2D game. This is an example. A common way for creating this muscle flash effect is by instantiating a muscle flash object and after a couple of frames, destroying it again. While this technique works totally fine, I thought, why not share an easier and more efficient way of achieving the same effect? But how are we going to do this? Basically, when we instantiate or create our bullet, we immediately change the sprite of it to a muscle flash sprite, and then we wait a few frames and change it back to normal. Doing it this way basically frees us of using the instantiate function, which increases our performance. Hey, that's pretty good. You might think. So let's get into the creation. Alright, when we're done creating the muscle flash, we'll put it into Unity and slice it up. Start off by creating a bullet script and assigning it to a bullet. Then open it. Let's start off by looking at the variables. The first two are our sprite variables. They're quite self-explanatory. The default sprite is the bullet sprite, and the muscle flash is the muscle flash sprite. Frames of flash is uh, the amount of frames we'll wait before switching back from the muscle flash sprite to the bullet sprite. The destroy time is the amount of seconds before we'll destroy the bullet. Um, that's kind of optional. Um, and the sprite renderer, sprite rend, is a reference to the sprite render on the bullet, so we can change the sprite. In the start function, we are setting the sprite rend to the sprite renderer on the bullet. Uh, we're setting the default sprite to be the current sprite, which is, of course, the bullet sprite. Um, and then we are starting coroutines, so we're actually calling the functions that'll handle the muscle flash things. Um, that'll come next. The first coroutine called Flash Muscle Flash is basically where the muscle flash magic happens. So we're starting off by setting the sprite of the bullet to be the muscle flash. Then in the for loop, as you can see next, loops uh, the amount of frames to flash. And for every time, it waits a frame. So after that, when that's done, the next thing is going to happen, which is basically just setting the sprite of the bullet back to the default bullet sprite. And that's it for the flash muscle flash function. And at last we got the time destruction coroutine, which is just waiting for a specific amount of time and then destroying the game object. That's all for the code, now let's see it in action. But first we'll need to assign the muscle flash sprite to the muscle flash variable. Now let's see some action. And that's basically it. So when you've combined it with your shooting mechanics, it should look pretty cool. Um, go follow me on Twitter, and thank you for watching, guys.